Hello, my friends, John Bams here. All the things and stuff we are doing. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let's have a look, see what's been going on. As you can see on the bottom left, I was doing some digging. I was doing a little bit of digging um, over here. Because uh, I'm basically going to, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to the wall just yet over here, but I want it to appear. Uh, actually, I should come back over this way. I made sort of a, it's going to be like a little pond. It's going to be like a little pond over here. And then it needs to kind of appear that the water is flowing this way. You can see I dug it all out, dug a trench. I think that it's actually a pretty decent job at digging a trench. I wanted, I wanted it to look natural, you know. So I haven't filled it with water yet. So it's going to look like it's flowing this way sort of and then out into the ocean. And the water level is not going to be here. The water level is going to be up to here through the whole thing. So, it should look pretty awesome, so I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty excited about it. Oh, yes, but, um, yeah, this cobble here. Let me, I do have another pick. Okay. This cobble, as I was digging this, can I jump up there? I can. Yeah. So, as I was digging this, I, uh, I broke through into a cave. That is, uh, let's block this. Actually, no, we're going to need this water. It's, uh, oh, oh, there we go. All right, so as you can see, I broke into some sort of cave, so... Oh, let me in there, let me in there. Let's go do some exploring. Oh, I see iron already. When I found this, I came in, I threw down those two torches, and I was like, that's it. I'm going to block it off, wait till I'm recording. We're going to go do some explore. Oh, there's lots, lots of looking around to do down here. Yeah! All right, uh... I'm going to use the iron pick. I guess I'll, I'll attempt to hold on to my... Uh, my diamond one as long as possible. Hopefully we're going to find some awesome stuff in here. We're, gonna find anything. we're not going to find anything down that way. Boo! Boo! <laughs> uh, I have a confession to make, folks. I am full-on addicted to the Olympics. I don't know if you guys are. <laughs> I have been watching the Olympics non-stop. Even, like, reruns. When they, like, rerun the events from the day, I still... I got those on. I got those on. Um, it's... It's obviously, it's been four years since I've seen the Summer Olympics. It's not, you know, it only happens every four years, so that's sort of exciting. Plus, there's, like, all these events that I, uh, I, like, didn't even know were, like, I guess I knew they were Olympic sports. I didn't, I guess I just didn't fully understand what they were. Uh, like, first of all, handball. I don't know why. <laughs> I think around, like, the schoolyards and stuff around here where I grew up, handball is sort of like racquetball. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I only got a couple arrows, too. Don't, what are you doing, creep? Oh, why are you creeping? Back up. Uh, handball sort of like, at least where I live, handball was always sort of like, uh, like racquetball. You used like a racquetball style, like, sort of like, a, oh my gosh, two more? Or was that a zombie and a creeper? All right. I'll handle you with the sword, buddy. But I see, I see your back up. I see your back up and he's, ooh, he dropped an iron bar. I'll take that. Oh, no. All right. Stay back, creeper. Oh, my gosh. Is that another one coming behind you? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to run out of arrows. <gasps> I think this is my last arrow. Oh, I hope that's it. <laughs> yeah, so what was I saying? Handball. Yes, handball. Um, who was I watching? I don't remember what team. I think it might have been, like, Norway versus... France or something, I don't remember, but holy cow, I don't know how those guys do it, um, I thought there was just gonna be like smacking a ball off the wall, like back and forth, sort of like, like tennis or racquetball, but, uh, no, they, oh my gosh, that's, ah, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm running to the wrong place, oh gosh, get, 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 oh, I got some more arrows now, this is a dangerous place, this dangerous place. Okay, moving along. We must continue to explore. <laughs> but yeah, the, the water polo, holy cow. Not water polo. What are they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another skeleton. Oh, gosh. Come on, Skelly. I'm waiting to ambush you. <gasps> How did he hit me? He can't even see me. Ah! Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I watched some handball. That's pretty awesome sport I wasn't familiar with. 
uh, water polo, that was the one where I was like, I don't know how these people, how could you have so much energy to, not only are you like swimming and trying to get around people the whole time and like throwing this ball around, but you're, they're like fighting each other, like wrestling in the water, you know, sort of, uh, sort of like you see people checking each other in like basketball. You know, trying to box each other out. So, and it just looked... It, water polo looks like the most exhausting sport in the history of the Olympics. I mean, you've got to be... <laughs> you've got to just be in, like, the most perfect shape of all time to do that. I don't know how they do it. It's incredible. It's amazing. But that, that's sort of the reason I love to watch the Olympics. You know, it's the best athletes in the world from all over the world. Doing that thing. Doing that things and stuff. I saw some of you guys on the last video were leaving comments uh, talking about your countries, who you're rooting for and stuff. And I think just about every person that left a comment mentioning a country, I, I think I pretty much saw your country win gold. <laughs> I, I, the U.S. isn't winning too much gold, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. And the commentators. you got to give it up to the commentators at the Olympics because they do such a good job of making something that would otherwise be completely uninteresting to me, they do such a good job of getting me, like, so into it. <laughs> like, uh, what was the one? Um, I think I was watching Women's Fencing, okay? <laughs> and it, it was, uh, I think I started watching it was the U.S. versus Italy, maybe? And then Italy just, like, owned our face. Italy was like, I don't think so. This is our sport. <laughs> and, uh... That was definitely the case because I think it, it, the final three people left were all Italy. So Italy took like, uh, you know, gold, silver, and bronze. And, you know, like the gold medal fight was Italy versus Italy. So I think we learned that uh, Italy Italy pretty much owns at women's fencing <laughs> from what I've seen. All right, it looks like we explored most of this place. Uh, we got it all lit up nice, so... Let's head back on up and check out some things and stuff. <gasps> Let me out. Whoa. Okay, I think what I want to do is start getting this. Let me out. Let me out. All right, I want to fill that with something so I know where that is. Because you never know, I may... Oops, that's not where I wanted that. I may end up using this cave in the... Uh, what do you call it? The like adventure map sort of thing that I'm working into this. You never know. It's nice to find that because I'm sure you guys have noticed that the original mine from this place is gone. <laughs> you can no longer see the entrance and you haven't seen what's going on down below. And you won't until you download the map. I'm showing you guys as much, obviously, as I possibly can. But if I show you everything, well, then it won't be a challenge. You will just come in and do what I showed you. That's no fun. Okay, so this area here, um, I haven't decided. It may just stay like that. What I still need to put in here is I need to finish. There's going to be a bridge at the entrance over this little river we're creating now. I need to finish this walkway that's going to go towards the castle, and I need to spruce it up. It's going to look much different than it does right now. This is more or less just laying out the grid, you know. You know, so then I need Market Row. Yes, it's going to be called Market Row, and it's going to be all sorts of, like, tents and, like, little, little huts just for selling fruits and, and, and goods and trading animals, stuff like that, but, you know. All right, so, out of the way. Thank you. We'll see how this is going to look. We'll start filling it in random places. Uh, we'll put one there. Why not? Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> this is actually going to take like... This is going to take like a really long time to fill this river in. Oh dear. Wow. <laughs> Let's do it a couple more times. We'll just put a couple more... A couple more buckets around here somewhere. <gasps> Alright, what is the level? This is the level. I could put a couple markers. Like so. Oops. So I can see what level... Is it this level? Why is it so hard to see? Oh, it's this level. Okay. That'll be like a marker for when I come back. I'll be able to see as I move down because 
Sort of like I, I do with changing up what I'm working on. Like, I didn't finish the castle. I moved on to the village. And then I haven't finished the village. I've moved on to this river thing. So, you know, it's like how we keep it fresh. It's how we... If I would just stay focused on the one the one thing the whole time, I, I wouldn't want to log in. <laughs> it would sort of start being like, uh, I don't want to go in and do work. But, you know, there's no boss. <laughs> That's the best part. I could just kind of come in and be like, you know what? I don't want to work on a village today. I'm going to work on a river. And then that's what I do. So, okay, we're not going to finish filling that up. That is going to take forever. So let's go look at some of the other things and stuff that I've done on the server here. I, I, I sort of almost got the village hut. Uh, what's it called? The village inn and barbecue. I've almost got it finished, but uh, the way I did the roof and stuff, it's been very difficult. Over here actually looks pretty nice. The roof looks, the roof looks good from over here, but it was very hard to merge... The different oh hello what are you doing in the walls of our castle village place sir identify yourself identify yourself zombie who let you in these walls let me see can I actually block you I didn't even block block him block him block come on oh blocks a fail I'm writing a letter to Jeb right now blocks broken fix block <laughs> so yeah uh, this was the hardest part over here. I've actually changed part of the building because of it. Still doesn't look totally right. But I'm probably just going to leave it because you're not going to really be looking at the village from this angle so much. Uh, especially once you're actually doing the, what do you call it, the like adventure puzzle sort of thing. So when you spawn into the world, there's going to be like two... Like, notices to you. It's going to tell you, you know, if you're just here to roam around the world and have some fun and things and stuff, do it. But if you're here for the challenge map, head this way and don't break anything. Don't break blocks. Don't break nothing. But that's still a ways off. 1.3 should be out very soon. I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm not leaving this vanilla craft for a while. Oh my gosh, how'd you get in here? Look at you heading for me. Oh! Good shot, man. Good shot. No arrow. How do you drop no arrows? I Actually, that would be a good idea. What do you guys think I should do for 1.3? I'm not leaving Vanilla Craft 3.1 just yet. As soon as this village is complete and the, tre and the treasure map, the uh, adventure map is complete, um, then I am leaving this world. That will be the end of Vanilla Craft 3.1. We'll move on to Vanilla Craft Season 4, which is, I just cannot, cannot even believe we're moving on to Season 4 soon. Uh, but the second 1.3 comes out, I'm definitely going to make some videos. We'll probably just, you know, hop in a single-player world quickly. Or I may throw up a, uh, a new 1.3 world on this server, and Kuma and I or some other people from the server, we will, you know, run around, do a bit of exploring, check out all the new things. But if you guys have any, any, any ideas, any certain things you want to see... Things and stuff of that nature, you know, please let me know. Please let me know. <laughs> All right, but, uh, yeah, so that that's it for today, folks. Just showing you what's going on. I'm going to get back to uh, filling this up here. This is going to take forever, I think. And uh, I'll see you all again real, real soon. Okay, now, bye-bye.